now look to Tom Lucy to continue the case for the opposition. It's very exciting to be here. Um, I'll be speaking in opposition of uh, all you need is love. Tinder, Bumble, Happen, Uniform Dating, Hinge, LinkedIn. <laughs> All dating websites I have been subscribed to. <laughs> <laughs> and all dating websites I have been politely asked to leave. <laughs> Between 2014 and 2018, I spent roughly £1,132 before tax. I spent this obscene amount of money not on food, not on leisure, but on dating and the desperate pursuit of love. And then I made a decision, a decision to stop. <laughs> and since March 12th, 2018, I haven't been on a single date. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Am I happier? No. Am I more financially secure? Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom Lucy, and I'm here to argue that love is not all you need. In fact, I'm doing exceptionally well despite it. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably looking at me and thinking, I haven't seen him around campus. <laughs> And you'd be right to think that, because I'm not a student at the University of Oxford. I am an award-winning comedian. <laughs> to put it into perspective, in 2017, at the age of just 20, I was named the best new comedian by the most prestigious and informative newspaper in the world, The Sun. <laughs> This, this is the newspaper that, lest we forget, changed the face of journalism by using pioneering phone hacking techniques <laughs> to bring us more up-to-date news. Yeah. And this establishment looked at me and said, this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> now, really, before we get into it, what can we agree on? We can agree that I'm very happy. <laughs> Because it's true. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and we can also agree that there's a reason that I'm talking and you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm successful. <laughs> it's undeniable. <laughs> but why? How? Where? <laughs> The difference between me and you is that while you all have love in your lives, nobody loves me. <laughs> and uh, I really can't stress that enough. <laughs> I haven't come here to argue tonight. <laughs> I haven't travelled 14 miles in a BMW 1 series <laughs> to argue here tonight. So why have I rejected love? Well, a better way of asking that would be why has love rejected me? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's start with my family. I received little to no love as a child. <laughs> my father, my father was a soldier in the British Army, which, as we all know, means two things. He's uh, unable to express affection for his children, and he's a repressed homosexual male. <laughs> 
My father is practical, not emotional. I'll give you an example of this. On my 21st birthday, a birthday which I'm sure we can all agree is generally considered to be one of the big ones, I, the present I received from my father was not a watch passed down from my grandfather. It was not a pearl of wisdom which I would carry through life. It was a clutch for my car. <laughs> now, to be fair, I did need a new clutch. <laughs> but what you've got to ask yourself is, is that a present that suggests a loving relationship between a father and a son? I would argue not. So we can agree that my father is a cold, loveless man <laughs> who, against all the odds, created an exceptionally impressive young man. <laughs> I also have a sister. Her name is Charlotte, and she too has little to no affection for me. <laughs> In fact, and this is completely true, my sister is a student at this exact university, and she is still not bothered to come to this debate. <laughs> Pretty unbelievable, even by her standards. Um, my mother, who, to be fair, has always been very supportive, so we'll move on from her. <laughs> the point is this. Would I have been invited to speak here tonight at the second best university in the UK... Shame! <laughs> <laughs> my father at the back of the room there. <laughs> Would I have been invited to speak here if I had received more love as a child? Probably not. I would have probably ended up like one of you out there. Loved, but utterly disposable. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd received more hugs from my dad, would I be the man I am today? No. Would I be happier? Yes. <laughs> Would I be as financially secure? No. <laughs> and that's the key. I would also like to draw attention to the fact that today is Valentine's Day, and every member of this audience tonight has made an active decision <laughs> to attend a debate <laughs> rather than actually be on a date. <laughs> And uh, to be fair, looking around the room, I admit that for a lot of you, it probably wasn't much of a choice. <laughs> more, of a, more of a crippling necessity. <laughs> Something to stop you sitting alone in your dormitory, furiously masturbating <laughs> to Facebook holiday photos. Or perhaps playing a game of soggy biscuits <laughs> with some of your fellow classmates, <laughs> which is uh, something I believe which goes on a fair amount. <laughs> and I respect each and every one of you. <laughs> but the fact that we're all here tonight leads me to believe that this is a room full of people with no regard for love, and that makes me very happy indeed. <laughs> we don't need love. In fact, I would go one further and say we should strive for the opposite of love. Bullying. <laughs> I believe that society needs bullying. People People always want to stop bullying, okay? That's always, people always want to stop bullying. I say no. I say keep the bullying. I say encourage the bullying. Finance the bullying. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on, on that point, uh, sure. sorry, um, will the financing of the bullying be in accordance with subsection 64C? <laughs> I, 
I, I, I don't have any idea what you just said, but I like it. I like it. I like your thinking. It's great. So bullying. Steve Jobs. Elon Musk. The body coach. <laughs> All people who were bullied at school and who went on to achieve great things. <laughs> bullying creates excellence. <laughs> this will shock you, but I was bullied mercilessly at my school. <laughs> and I am now widely acknowledged to be the future of British comedy. <laughs> So, something to think about. <laughs> so, to sum up, uh, love is not all you need. As far as I'm concerned, it's a phrase that can fuck off. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it in a cabinet with other phrases that can fuck off, such as, all we have to fear is fear itself. <laughs> which was famously said by Roosevelt, who clearly never had his credit card declined. <laughs> So what am I trying to say? Do I need love? No. Would I like love? Yes. <laughs> but that's for another time. Thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs>